Ivir was diagnosed with liver cancer. He was 12 years old when he was diagnosed. My sister's name was Gabriella. She was diagnosed when she was in first grade, and she had ALL, which is acute lymphoblastic case of leukemia. Our daughter was Natalie Powelski, and uh, she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma back in February 2003. She battled through her treatment for five months and then passed away. Jimmy was diagnosed when he was 12 years old with osteosarcoma. Taylor was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia just before his third birthday. It flipped our world upside down. We didn't know how to react. He was very healthy otherwise. He just, it, there really wasn't any symptoms. So it was very unexpected. It's just like the worst scenario to imagine. And, um, and you're living it and you go to the hospital every day. I just remember going to the hospital every day going to visit her and stuff, and it just kind of, she got better at times, but then she got worse again. When you, when you spend so much time running in the hospital or doing treatments at home, doing changing your, your Broviac tubes or flushing out the lines and all that, the time, money, and energy to do the other things often isn't there. And Camp Good Days, it was always a place where kids were allowed to have fun. It took the stress out of our lives, really. Like, every month we knew Camp Good Days was, something was gonna happen, and we always looked forward to that, so we had something to go to, to have fun, and we didn't have to go to the doctors. There was no bad things about camp. To be able to have a few hours, if I just wanna go and cry for two hours, I can bring him, and he can have fun with, with kids and have a good time, and, and I could have a moment just to, to just digest what's happening. You figure when she went to that Camp Good Days picnic, she died 16 days later. There weren't many good days left, and I don't know how good she really could have been feeling, but, um, you know, it was one of her last good days. It was what camp is supposed to do. It was a good, good day. As a parent, it made me feel good to know that Jimmy was enjoying himself, and forgetting the fact that he had cancer and chemo and lost his hair because everybody he was surrounded with was going through the same thing. Everyone treated her the same and everyone loved her, so she, she, this was like a second home to us, I guess you could say. It still is for me, though. Whether it was Junior Good Days or a special event, he knew he was going to have fun. You know, it was about smiles, it was about laughter, it was about being silly, which was certainly one of his strengths. Helped us just to survive through the whole thing gave us good quality of life with our daughter for the brief time we had left. Um, it was like somebody else throwing a big party for your daughter. Whenever I come here, I remember how much fun she had, and that's a lot to me. There's not a whole lot of, of, of connections, but there are people here who knew her. And um, I don't ever want to let that go. You guys are our family. They are. <laughs> Lisa already knows that anyway. High above the chimney top, that's where you find me. I just want to thank them so much for like impacting my life, and I have so many good memories because of them. And life has been made easier, I guess. Like less stress-free because of them, and I have a safe place to go in case I need it. I have new friends. I have people that will always be there for me. Camp is like my family, and I would never want to give that up. We owe that a lot of that to Camp Good Days and the families of Camp Good Days because they taught us from their experience, you know, how to, to live for us and Jimmy and how to cope with the loss of Jimmy. Um. At this point in my life, I've worked in not-for-profits for 26 years, and I've never met an agency like Camp Good Days that meets their mission so well. 